Hi everybody. I'm getting ready to leave Cedar Hill State Park and on my walk around I noticed that I have a very low tire. So I got out my gauge. That uh, This is a, ki a kit that has been gifted to me and I'm so grateful because this is a heavy duty gauge otherwise my tires won't read with just a normal tire car gauge and uh, got out my compressor and I'd gone up to throw away the trash and I came back to where I was at, the site I was at, so I could plug in and get this done so I can get back, so I can get on the road. <laughs> ah. I don't have one of those fancy dancy, um, that, uh, this is an older rig and so it doesn't tell me when my tire pressures are low or any of that and so um, that's another reason when I do a walk around that's part of my checklist and I had two tires at 45 and two at 50. Now it's cold and wet and they're normally supposed to be 55 so I just made them all 50 and gonna hit the road and I will stop often and double check those that were low <laughs> But I'm so grateful to my friend that gifted me the heavy duty tire set. And I'm so grateful to Robert that showed me how to use it before he left Nevada uh, this last spring. I pulled over in Temple at this Bucky's, not because I'm going inside. I don't have to go inside anywhere, which I just love about traveling in my RV. I needed a stretch break and I can get up and stretch and walk around and play with Bandit for a little bit and I got me some coffee and I got me a half a cookie that my friends Steve and Beverly brought me before I left Cedar Hill State Park and uh, so we've had a nice little break and he got a little snacky too and um, now I'm ready to hit the road again. I think I'm about 40 miles from my destination but I just needed a break and it's cold and windy outside and this place is crazy busy and with the pandemic I don't like going in places and so I need to be really careful especially after being around so many wonderful people at the Lollapalooza and I am doing that and taking extra precautions and we just stayed inside our little home didn't we bandit <laughs> and now we're gonna get ready to get back on the road Okay, you guys, so after I left um, Cedar Hill State Park, the Lollapalooza, my next stop was Still House Hollow Lake outside of Salado and Belton, Texas. And I, while I was there, I also got to see my friend and patron Pam and my friend and patron Pearl. And that was so awesome. And here are some clips from being on the lake for a couple of days. You guys, it is so cold. I have the Olympian wave heater running and I have my roof heat strip running. And until recently, Bandit had, oops, had his jacket on and he has been wrapped up in blankets all day. I can't even get him to hardly go outside.
good morning everybody <laughs> today i have a couple of surprises and i can't wait to show you who showed up and i bet you already know but take a guess and you'll see if you're right in just a moment and then i had a major surprise while i was driving from the la, la palooza at cedar hill state park to my cousins on the gulf coast because I was driving in cold and rain and wet, but you won't believe who's coming to help me this morning and what we're doing. Stay tuned. Look who came to join me at my cousin's. He drove all the way from Nevada in only two stops. I can't wait to see him. He slept over there and I hope he was all snugly warm last night. Okay. There's my guys, Bendito and Robert. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. 